The morning's task was to have Hector complete his external assessment for coxswain and he passed with flying colours. Just started our lunch when radio operator Peter got a call from an 11 metre vessel outside the harbour which was out of fuel and wanted assistance to get in over the bar. Gold Sunday's next candidate for his coxswain ticket is Matt who needs to complete an assist as acting skipper for a boat over 10 metres as part of his prior requirements so this was an ideal opportunity to get it done. It was right on low tide, but we were confident of getting him in. A breaking wave on the bar managed to almost fill the vessel's tow dinghy, but the operation went smoothly and we berthed him at the public pontoon. I think the dinghy's got a bit of water in it, Matt. Yeah, you work out the placement speed of the, the dinghy. Oh, we're going to have, obviously, we exceed the speed. <laughs> That's it. We are going to raft him up. The dinghy's a bit waterlogged. Oh, it went under many <laughs> times, yeah. So oh, it's. Wow. So it's when you were towing her back. As part of the service, we dragged the dinghy up and got rid of the water in it, and then Alan took the owner up to the service station and got fuel for him in jerry cans. These owners were wisely one of our assist supporters, but were so happy with the service they purchased cakes for all, which we shared with all at the base on Monday morning. Cheers. Late in the afternoon, we were called to another yacht which had completely lost its rudder, which was more of a challenge, but that will be the subject of another video. Safe travels to the 